In this lesson, I want to explain a viewport and its settings. Here we have four viewport, four viewports in default. When you work, want to work on a specific viewport, you have to click on it. As we can see, a blue uh, uh, color will be appear on the tabs, and it shows that we are that current view, and that's active, and we can work with it. When you click on this arrow and open its settings we have a uh, lots of settings that we need just settings about view port if you click on any viewport you can change a specific settings for that viewport as you can see we have a perspective uh, actually really 3d viewport it's in perspective we are looking at the top we are in top view we are in a front view we are on the right we can change it to the left, we can choose to change it to the back, we can change it to the bottom. Going to perspective and it's active. <coughs> we have we have a lot of sitting here that's those are about set view, about viewport set view, the active window layout, and the viewport layout. In a standard, in, in a viewport layout, we have all of those settings graphically with icon here and it's uh, a few of them are new and you can find them again in a view. And in a standard tab, we have, uh, as you can see, it's a four view here. You hold mouse over this icon and it's sub the category and list will be open there are the same <coughs> settings here also okay we're going we begin from here you can set view for example you can change your perspective view to top or per, to button as you can see we are looking at the bottom of our work you can change it in any of viewport or you can back it to the perspective as you can see, we have a viewport setting. We are a different layer in here. Properties, we have the viewport properties here. You can change the perspective name to the any name that you want. As you can see, it's <coughs> name changes here. Or you can back it to the perspective. You can change the width and height of this. But you can also click and drag to change width and height to... Uh, make it bigger simply and simply click and drag these lines or you can bring your mouse over here and change both for all of four views the same if you want to back to default you can change width and height again or you can go in here set view in a view layout and make it again four views just some scroll to make it in a default it's a little bug okay in a perspective we have something called projection it's uh, how the camera looks to your object it's a parallel as you can see we have a no uh, perspective anymore it's a parallel everything is parallel every edge in some cases very useful we are in a actual 3d perspective and a special perspective is two point a two point perspective is something between parallel and real perspective and cause these effects as you can see we have a more stretch um, object in near camera and here you can bring it back to the perspective also you can change in a set view here and uh, parallel here is isometric this name is more famous for this view and NENW is uh, north and east north and west as you can see it's turn the angle of the view and make it a camera view parallel and change this okay uh, another part is active uh, viewport if it's exactly when you click 
on the viewport this can this do this option here okay in the layout we have an interesting part you can make a new viewport here and all of the settings but this viewport is just in the window of a rhino you cannot move it if you want to close that you can simply go in here or close it or going to the view and close viewport view close viewport here going to the layout this import this is very interesting when you have many monitors float this option on dock the same windows and its place is empty i'll show you another float window that's very useful for getting back going to the <clears throat> layout and docked back to its place and make it per perspective again another layout is height viewport tab here as you can see we have a viewport tab if you click on each them this is change active uh, viewport if you need a little more space for working all of these options are in the option settings here you can access them for more room i prefer to hide tab viewport and we have more room for work you can hide it uh, viewport layout you can for example split uh, horizontally or going here split your viewport vertically and you can have a lot of viewport here and in the viewport layout you can simply click on a viewport and make it to the four view just scroll a little to make it correct this issue in the layout we have four view we have 3d view and if you save your layout you can read from here as I said before, in a viewport layout, in a standard layout, we have here and the specific tab for viewport setting is viewport here. You can simply here, uh, I say an important thing about the Rhino. If you over, going most over one of the icon, we have two methods for <coughs> execute the uh, button or comment. Left click, right click. If you click left click, we simply go into the tree mode. You can back it to the shaded. If everything is zoom like here, if you right click, it's going to the tree mode, but it extends all object to the viewport. You fit all object to the viewport. If something like this, you can go into four view, a little to four view if you want to fit all object in a screen of viewport as you said here you can right click on a, this icon so left click do another job right click do another job for you here is a maximize it's actually like double click on each tab you can maximize or minimize that here you can import a new inside the viewport right click as you can see right click on this icon to close that or you can go into the view and close the viewport and here viewport properties if you click on it if you were in a somewhere when you click on it you go to the viewport sitting here viewport is relative to the camera some of these uh, settings are about camera that i explained in the next lesson here you can split it horizontally split it vertically and the interesting part here synchronize the view if you click left click on a synchronized view as you can see oh well if you click uh, oh if you click on the synchronous uh, for example uh, the view perspective is dependent from 
other three views if you change the perspective you have click once to synchronize uh, other 3d views with the view perspective for example you can see the zoom will be synchronized with the <coughs> perspective pan zoom and everything that you want to synchronize if you want to link to the object as you can see we can uh, scroll it pan it individually as uh, separately if you want to link out each other simply it's not important uh, which viewport is in active just this is a overall setting for our four viewport <clears throat> you can right click to synchronize as you can see it's synchronized the uh, perspective is uh, independent independent from those three bots you can synchronize all of those three viewport as you can see if you want to going back right click again it's a toggle first right click do that execute that command second right click uh, remove that command as you can see they are independent now and here you can toggle between perspective and two perspective if, if you right click going to the for execute this software you have to be in a perspective in these two you can toggle between two point perspective or perspective if you right click as you can see here you can change field of view it's about camera i will teach you next lessons so if you right click look at this uh, common line and software tells you which number of field of view you want to type here here is the third thing you can right click to turn off the active grid of the <clears throat> grid of active viewport or left click to bring it back in this mode we need to be for example an active here you want to hide grid you can right click as you can see grid display off right click or left click to bring it up these settings are about are about lens length or depth of or field of view you can uh, change uh, uh, the numbers and I will explain you next lesson I want to explain the camera and its settings in a separate lesson here is add picture I teach you in a separate lesson we have a layout with lot of option uh, another layout this is different about uh, this is something little different between layouts layouting this is layouting uh, modeling for printing or anything a little different between beautiful layout i teach you in a separate lessons we have lots of sitting here here you can hide or unhide these tabs over there and here you can toggle floating window this is a difference because if you active a window that you want to make it floating it's interesting as you can see it's floating here so it's uh, like before you can uh, click it again to dock it again okay but it is interesting it gives you new floating viewport as you can see it does not anything you have to go in the viewport project and click here click in a projection and told the software which viewport do you want to floating and copy it that viewport for example i select as you can see we are all kind of viewport perspective top click on the perspective and you can see we have an, a copy from um, the perspective that you can go with and make it to your second monitor so it makes a copy from the perspective i said before you have to click on it or you can right click to new perspective uh, left click is better left click and software asks you which viewport you want to make a copy and make it floating for you click on this i will be you will be face all of this method of rhino several times these are uh, this line is common line and you have to select the common setting here here of uh, for example i want to top window floating you can change it and go into the second monitor 
here you can import your layout file here in is another separate uh, comment is at clipping I told you in a separate lessons you can print it you can single viewport and you can lock or unlock you if you lock you cannot rotating you can pan or anything that's one the window viewport lock but you can select a um, object and work with it just viewport and its rotations and pan with it lock you can click or unlock okay this is viewport and its settings hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.